Hey everybody, it's Michelle Visage and welcome back to another episode of Whatcha Packin'? And today we have Brooklyn's own Thor G. Thor. What up, Michelle? Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How have you been? It's good. It's good to be back and hanging out with you and uh, it's been fun. So yeah. you get the call for All Stars 3. I'm asking all the girls this because I think it's so interesting mm -hmm. to know your reaction when you find out they want you to be on RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 3. Yeah. What do you do? I was making a cardboard outfit on a mannequin in my in apartment in Brooklyn. So there because was sequin and cardboard everywhere. And my friend actually dared me. He's like, just make a whole outfit out of cardboard. I'm like, okay. okay. I was gonna like just wear it out just for fun. And they called me and they're like, what do you think about being an all Stars 3? I'm like, yeah. yeah. And I literally was like, when? When's my flight? Like, what do I need to bring? I was like, I love it back in the game. But I was also 50% like, oh shit. Like, I have to do this again. <laughs> what was this so. time like for you versus uh, the last time? Season eight was when you guys told me like, you know, Thor G, you're so like, worry war it all the time. And I really am because I care so much because I'm just an artist, I can't help it. Like that's the way my brain is, works. Well, all Details. this is perfectionism too. You know, it's all like every piece playing. and I get yeah. like, yeah, it's a lot of people don't get it when you grow up that way, like wrong, wrong, wrong. And people and teachers are listening to every little tiny mistake. So I thought All Stars 3, I'm like, let me use these like new skills about learning to calm myself down. Mm. And it was worse when I got in there. <laughs> it was far worse. Oh, when I got no! in there, I was like, oh shit. Like, I need heavy medication. Why? The race got to me because yeah. people don't really understand. Like, so, like every, I want to take six hours to put this on. Understood. It's There's a no lot six of hours. pressure. No. So, and we did, I did, we did And CBN. nobody sucked, by the way. Nobody sucked, yeah. you know. And then we went back after you critiqued us and all the girls were sitting there and I was holding back these tears like, Aww, just keep honey. it together, Thorge. And then everyone turned around like, Thorge, you didn't get, you're in the bottom too. Like, how do you feel? And I was like. <laughs> and it all literally came out. I the was dam like, broke. It really was. Aww. And then I forgot what I said, but I said so I'm like, I just feel like I'm the best. And then I'm telling you I'm good. And it was it was really embarrassing. It's not I'm embarrassing. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's what you needed to do at I the moment. I was very vulnerable. I never yeah. had that problem in the show being vulnerable. I'm always like, I'm here, you yeah. know. I just had a moment. Everybody's allowed a moment. Well, let's talk about some of the stuff that you sure, brought sure, sure, yes. that you didn't get to wear. So I see your sweatshirt. <laughs> I literally made this. This was a fabric roll of neoprene like that you guys provided for us for mood fabric. Oh, that's like scuba. It's like scuba, but like thin, it's thinner. a little heavier. It's a little thinner, but heavier. It's, it's odd. And they had letters back there too? No, I actually brought like all letters with me. Just Why? in the back, just because I just knew like maybe I'll want to write something. Ish is like a new, like it used to be bitch. Yes. And then it was batch, and then it was like batch. Yeah. And now it's just straight up beach. Yes. And what about this gorgeous kind oh, of so epic trinket? <clears throat> this was funny. I actually had the most fun making this. And it was really inspired by Victor and Rolf's flower bomb. Do you remember that? Which is the perfume of all the dragons. Everybody wears this. Yes. It's like everyone loves this. But it's, you know, on the mannequin, I, I did the best I could. But when I tie my hair up, these flowers went out like 20 feet. Gorgeous. And it was supposed to be this like editorial runway show. And I was going to wear a prosthetic pixie nose and prosthetic pixie ears. Like a little druid moment? Yeah. And this charo number behind me. I just like that it's clowny. It's did you sickening. make it? I didn't make it. I actually found it in a thrift store. Did you? On Long Island, I was like, this is Awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. And I've worn it once before, but I was like, I'll just pack it just in case. But I just love how it's like clowny, but still kind of sexy. It's burlesque. It's ice skating. Like if you pair it with some clown wig, it's like silly. It's Thor -gy. Sure. Since season eight to where you are now, yeah. everything you do, you do with pride. And I've watched you and I performed with you and I can't wait to do more of that. And yeah. I am so proud of you yeah, yeah. with everything that you're doing. I look forward to your Thorchestra. Do you want to come sing with the Thorchestra? I mean, sure. Full accompaniment. You know I'd live for that. Oh my God, just get a good gown, girl. Walk out. We'll do the whole spotlight. Yeah, are easy. Let's do it. Let's, let's, do, let's do, do, it. do Carnegie Hall. Uh, Okay. We can get there. Yeah, I will not say no to that. Oh, I love it. What yeah. a plan. Totally in for that. Very Thank cool. you so much for joining us. How lovely. So great to see you again. Thank you so much, sweetheart. My pleasure every day, all day. Aww. I love you, Michelle. And what I a love fun, you what a blast. Thank yeah. you, baby. Thank you so much for watching another episode of What You're Packing. Until next time, bye. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.